Hey guys, we're back here again with this breaking news out of RNA Russia where they're saying Putin's ordered to ensure the supply of weapons to troops as soon as possible. So they're saying Putin's ordered the defense industry to ensure the supply of weapons to troops as soon as possible within, of course, Ukraine and also the mobilization that they're trying to do and have more troops come into the Ukraine area and also in all the adjacent areas around there, including um, Crimea. So here it's saying... Organizations with the military industrial complex must urgently ensure the supply of weapons and equipment to troops. President Putin said in a meeting of the development of the defense industry. So here they're saying the defense industry complex organization need to ensure delivery of the weapons required and the equipment for troops weaponry of destruction as soon as possible, he said. So again, he's trying to, again, like we were saying before, have this incredible mobilization of troops out of Russia into Ukraine and being able to take over more of their property and, um, you know, just ma a land mass faster than he was able to do before by having more troops on the ground, more equipment on the ground. And even in this article, he's talking, they're talking about, he's even trying to um, basically have a full analyzation of all the same Western military equipment used in Ukraine. According to him, this can contribute to the improvement of domestic weapons while this should be done as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So again, he's trying to now, like we've already seen before, they have, of course, seized U.S. and NATO allied weaponry, and they're now trying to essentially advance their technology to be on, on the same level, or if not better, so that they can compete and be able to destroy even more military targets using standard military-grade equipment without going to the nuclear weaponry. But as we all know, because of the time it takes to get all this done, they're most likely going to end up having to use, um, you know, tactical nuclear weapons in certain regions and areas to get their, um, move their status further along faster than what they were able to do before, which will then give them time to produce the we weaponry that they need that can actually be on par with NATO's level weaponry. So, again, this article is a great one. We're going to leave the link down below so y'all can take a look. Of course, it's in Russian. I mean, you can easily translate it. And of course, take a look at all this. There's also a video of, you know, going through the whole speech that he given uh, regarding this whole matter. But again, please take a look at everything. Again, we're going to try to keep getting all this information as soon as we can get it. And of course, please stay safe. And anyone in Russia or anyone that's in Ukraine, if y'all got any information, please put it down below. We're going to keep, again, if you got firsthand information, drop it down below. And again, the more people that know what's really going on, the better. That's really what we're trying to do here. Get as much news as we can as soon as possible to the people. And again, stay safe, stay blessed, and we'll talk to you soon.